Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you a few things you can get to make mobile gaming a lot more fun. Now most of you out there have Android phones or iOS phones and you probably play games on them but you would use them on the actual touch screen on the phone. The thing with using the touch screen is A, your thumbs cover up a lot of the screen but as well as that it's not the same as having buttons and analog sticks. It's much nicer to play a game when you've got buttons to press rather than touching a touch screen. Now you can get a lot of these items that I'm going to show you in this video for not a lot of money. In fact, everything here is well under £10, some of it's under £5, and it makes the gaming much more fun. So for example now, we've got a game here working on this tablet, and this is called Pocket Rally. It's a fun little game. It's free because it's got a few adverts on it. If you want to pay for it, I think it's less than one UK pounds. It's not a lot of money. But to make it more fun, rather than using the on-screen controller, what I've done is I've connected up this little Moga controller that I got from Amazon. It was only five pounds. It's this one here. And basically, you connect it up via Bluetooth to your tablet or to your phone. Right now, I'm gonna be using this like a standard controller, but you can also sit your phone in this little bit here because it's got a little retractable clamp that clamps onto different sizes of phones. Obviously, you're not gonna get a tablet in there, but with a phone, it's nice because then you can just sit here like this and you haven't got to prop your phone up against anything. But right now, I'm just using it like a controller, and what I've done is I've connected up the tablet to the TV just with a little micro HDMI to a standard HDMI. So depending on what your phone is or what your tablet is, often you will have a feature to get it connected to the TV. And that makes it more fun because you can sit back on your couch and then you can just play the game. Now, what you'll find is, with a lot of games, they don't work with the controller. There's still not a huge amount of support for controllers on Android and iOS devices. But the list is definitely growing. And if you go onto Google and just type, you know, uh, Android games that you can use a controller with, then it will bring up a lot of them. I'm going to show you a few in this video, but there's loads more to choose from. Right, okay, so the A buttons accelerate, B is for break, and Y changes to camera angle. So that's a fun angle to have it there. Now, because this is the uh, Pocket Rally Lite version, this is the free version, and there is adverts that will pop up on the screen up top there. But if you like the game, then the actual version itself is only about, I think it's still under one pound. It doesn't cost a lot of money at all. But as you can see, on the big screen now, it makes it much more fun when you're playing this game rather than trying to play it on the small mobile phone. Okay, so you get the idea off that one. Right, let's look at another Android device. Okay, so on this one here, we're using a DualShock 4 controller, which comes from the PlayStation 4. And I've got this little clamp that goes around it, this little clamp here, that just fits around it, so you can just pop your phone in there like so. And I've got this clamp off eBay for just under five UK pounds. And then basically, it's quite nice, because you don't have to prop your phone up against anything, and you can angle it. There's a little thing here that you can move it around to the angle that you want it at. And then basically, this game here is Sonic All-Stars Racing. And the controls would be as you would expect it to be if you were playing it, for example, on an Xbox or a PlayStation. So we've got R2 to accelerate, L2 to break. And then we've got look behind is triangle. To use the weapon is square and then X is the menu. And the good thing is, this game on Android at the moment is free. So press square to use the weapon. Yeah, so that makes it much more playable, again, rather than using the screens or the tilt control. I mean, it depends what you like, but if you're used to controllers and stuff like this, then it's quite nice to be able to use the controllers that you already have in your house to connect up. Right, okay, let's go on to an iOS device. 
Okay, on iOS devices you need to get an MFI controller, which is basically made for iOS. Now, this one here is a Logitech PowerShell. I got this one off Amazon for $7.99, so really cheap. They were expensive when they came out to begin with, but they're getting old now because these are designed for the iPhone 5, and the iPhone 5 is now a few years old. But this is an iPod 6th generation iPod, and yet it fits absolutely fine, so obviously you can use it on the iPod 5 and iPod 6. The good thing about this is, once you charge up this unit, it's got a battery built into it, and the battery built into it is bigger than the battery you get in, for example, this iPod 6. And then what you can do is, if you flick the switch here, it will actually charge your phone while you're using it. So when you're getting low on battery on your phone, you can just flick the switch, and then it will use the battery in here to connect up to the internal battery of the iPod or the iPhone. Right, we're going to go to Star Wars. And already now you can see it's connected. So if I move it up and down, it says controller connected and I can move it around the place. So load game. We've got a couple of shoulder buttons up here. And this is mimicking an Xbox controller. And if you have a look there now, you can move it around. Now obviously you haven't got the full range because there's no second analog stick. But if you're playing basic games like Beach Buggy, then they're not needed. But it's still a nicely made controller and it would suit a lot of games perfectly. Right, okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to show you a better controller. Although I do like this one, it's Logitech, it's good brand. It, because of the lack of analog sticks and the buttons, you're very limited to what you can play. But if you have a look at this controller here, this is a Moga Ace Power. Again, this was even cheaper. I think this was $6.99. And again, it's exactly the same thing. It's got a battery built into it here. So if I was to flick that across there, it's going to start charging up the phone inside. And you just plonk your phone in there and it works in the same way. So let me just show you a game working on that. Let's take this one out. Put it in there like so. Slide it onto it. You have a little lock at the back to lock it into place. Okay, and there we go. See, so we've got analog sticks working here. We can look around using this analog stick. And you can still use the directional pad if you want it. Just show you another game now. Right, good thing about this one, it actually recognises, this is Beach Buggy, it even recognises the controller that you've got. So right now it said low battery there, so I'm just going to turn my thing on here, and now that will be charging up on my phone. So if you have a look there, can you see it's gone to red, but I've got a little charge light next to it. So if I turn this off here, there's no charge, I'm going to turn it on now, and you can see now it's charging. So it's a really good idea. And also, it will recognise the gamepad that you've got. So right now, you can see it recognises that one there. But if I go back, and if I was to take this one out, and put in the Logitech, then it will recognise the Logitech controller. You can see now that it's recognised the Logitech controller, so it's quite clever. But let me just go back to the other one. Now again, you're limited to what games you can play on these ones, but if you just go onto, uh, onto Google and just type in iOS games that use an MFI controller, then you will be able to find it. And again, it's just R2 to accelerate, L2 to brake, and you can use the analog stick here or the directional pad, whichever one you want. And then it's A to use your weapon. Here we go. And to just drift around the corners, you just brake as you go around the corner. And if you hold down brake, it will reverse.
Right, okay, so you get the idea of it. So just by spending a little bit of money, you can make all these games so much more usable. So whether that's buying a little micro HDMI lead to watch it on your TV, if your tablet or your phone allows. Some phones you would use an MHL lead to do that. Or whether you're buying these MFI controllers here. They really make it so much more fun and enjoyable to play. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.